Good morning, America. Today we witness a moment few could have predicted just a few years ago. Against the backdrop of a divided nation and a heated campaign, Donald J. Trump has won back the presidency, becoming the 47th president of the United States. This victory isn't just a win, it's a historical comeback that defies tradition and leaves many asking, how did Trump pull off this remarkable feat amid controversies, economic crises, and fierce opposition? The dramatic night of the election, a stunning upset. The air was thick with anticipation on November 6 as the race reached its climax. Kamala Harris had gathered her supporters at Howard University, ready to celebrate a historic win. Yet, as the votes poured in, the mood shifted dramatically. Harris, hoping to become America's first female president, saw the dream slipping away as Trump captured battleground states that had been pivotal in 2020. When Wisconsin tipped in his favor just after 5.30 a.m., Trump crossed the crucial 270 electoral vote threshold, sealing his victory. But Trump's win extended beyond the Electoral College. Early counts indicated he was on track to win the popular vote by nearly 5 million making him the first Republican since George W. Bush in 2004 to do so. News of his victory sent shockwaves through the country and financial markets alike. Stocks soared. The dollar strengthened. And Treasury bond yields rose as the country adjusted to the stability promised by a decisive outcome. In contrast, Harris prepared to concede, marking a bittersweet moment as her once bright aspirations dimmed in the face of economic realities and a resurgent Trump campaign. Economic anxiety, the fuel behind Trump's victory. At the heart of Trump's victory lies a truth about the American electorate, people vote with their wallets. The economic aftermath of the pandemic had left deep wounds. With inflation eroding purchasing power, housing prices skyrocketing, and many Americans feeling their economic prospects slipping, Harris's administration touted an economic recovery and touted growth that outpaced that of other wealthy nations. Yet for many voters, these numbers seemed disconnected from their lived reality. Trump tapped into these economic frustrations with remarkable precision. His slogan, Kamala broke it. Trump will fix it resonated in towns and cities where costs were rising faster than wages. He framed himself as the only leader capable of restoring economic stability. Leveraging his background as a businessman and his previous record on job creation, he painted a picture of a new, stronger America, one where jobs would be safeguarded industries protected, and families able to thrive without the daily fear of economic collapse. Trump's campaign strategy, bold promises and unyielding resolve. Throughout the campaign, Trump did not hold back. His platform combined tough stances on immigration, economic reform, and national security. He pledged to seal the U.S.-Mexico border and deport undocumented immigrants en masse, positioning these policies as solutions to job insecurity and rising crime rates. In his final campaign speeches, he promised sweeping tariffs aimed at revitalizing American industries and preserving jobs, a message that resonated deeply in industrial and rural areas, where manufacturing jobs had declined for decades. Trump's appeal went beyond policy, he tapped into a visceral sense of strength and resilience that many voters felt was lacking in the current administration. His supporters were undeterred by his legal troubles, including 34 felony convictions, his involvement in the events of January 6 and charges related to attempts to overturn the 2020 election. For many Americans, Trump embodied a tough love approach, a leader willing to make difficult, even controversial, decisions to put America first. He framed his return as a mission to restore the greatness that he claimed had been lost, positioning himself as a president for the people willing to fight the establishment. Global reactions, a tense, shifting diplomatic landscape. World leaders quickly reacted to Trump's victory many with cautious optimism. British Prime Minister Keir Starmer congratulated him on what he termed a historic win, while Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu hailed Trump's commitment to a strong American-Israeli alliance, a sentiment underscoring the strained relations that Israel had experienced under the Biden administration. Taiwan's President Lai ching te also extended his congratulations, signaling a watchful interest in Trump's stance on China. Trump's policy positions on Taiwan and China are likely to draw significant attention as they could impact regional stability. These early diplomatic responses reflect both respect and awareness about Trump's unorthodox approach to foreign relations, particularly in areas such as trade and defense alliances. Congress and the path forward, the hurdles and opportunities. Trump's victory extends beyond the presidency, it also realigns the balance of power in Washington, with the Senate securely in Republican hands. 
Trump has an easier path for appointing loyalists to key government roles and advancing parts of his policy agenda without the gridlock he experienced previously. However, the House remains contested. And if Democrats maintain control, Trump may face roadblocks in executing his legislative agenda. Still, Trump's determination to carry out his vision is clear. In his victory speech in Palm Beach, he assured his supporters that he would press forward, with or without Congress's cooperation, on issues like border security, economic reform, and law and order. He framed his presidency as a movement of the people, promising to enact change whether through legislative channels or executive action. The role of prediction markets, betting on Trump. Interestingly, Trump's victory was forecasted early not by traditional polls but by prediction markets. Platforms like Polymarket, Calsure, and Predicted had shown Trump's odds increasing steadily in the weeks before Election Day, often contradicting mainstream polls that indicated a close race. These markets, bolstered by significant investment from Wall Street, accurately anticipated the final outcome, lending credence to their model as a new tool for gauging political sentiment. The betting market's success in predicting Trump's win signals a potential shift in how elections are analyzed, with real-time odds reflecting voter sentiments faster than traditional polling. While opinion polls showed a neck-and-neck -neck race, betting markets became an early indicator of Trump's momentum, capturing shifts in voter opinion that traditional models missed. Harris's final stand, a historic but challenging campaign. For Kamala Harris. This election marks the end of a remarkable journey, a candidacy that carried the hopes of becoming the first female and the first black and Asian American president. Her campaign reflected the ideals of inclusion, diversity, and economic reform. Yet, her association with the Biden administration's challenges, particularly rising inflation and economic instability, proved insurmountable. Harris's campaign was vibrant and ambitious, promising a future that was progressive and inclusive. But as economic pressures mounted and concerns over border security and job stability intensified, her message struggled to resonate with voters focused on immediate, pressing issues. Her eventual concession represents not just a personal loss but a significant moment in American politics, where economic fears eclipsed the potential for historic firsts. A triumphant return, the resounding message of Trump's win. In a victory speech that echoed themes of resilience and American pride, Trump told his supporters, this will forever be remembered as the day the American people regained control of their country. His words captured the essence of his campaign and the sentiments of millions who felt left behind. Trump's return to the White House. At age 78. As the oldest person ever elected to the office. Underscores the tenacity of his following and the enduring appeal of his promise to make America great again. Conclusion, a new chapter for a divided America. As America braces for the next chapter under Donald Trump's leadership the country finds itself at a crossroads. His victory has rekindled hope for some and revived divisions for others. Yet, whether in agreement or opposition, Americans now have a renewed sense of agency, a reminder that every vote and every voice shapes the path forward. So, America, the time has come to watch closely, to question deeply, and to hold every decision to account. May we walk forward, united in purpose if not in opinion as we navigate the coming years together. Today marks a new beginning, a day that will echo in history as one where the American spirit of resilience and the power of the people triumphed once more.